So yes, um, this is our main network area. Um, so let's start over here, up here where the internet comes in. We have a Draytech Vigor 120, I believe that is. It's like the world's worst ADSL modem. Um, <laughs> but it's the only one that you can buy. We then have a custom built little firewall here running Sophos XG and with a home license key and yes it does have a Core 2 Duo um, because I have sort of a soft spot for the Core 2 Duos and I had a little mini ITX board with a Core 2 Duo so that plus 1.5 gigs of RAM I think a 60 gig Fujitsu hard drive um, I'm probably going to rebuild this into a 1U case though in the future and probably get a newer motherboard, a thin mini ITX one, obviously for one U case. Um, but yeah, so this has three interfaces on it. It's got the onboard Realtek LAN, which we're using for our LAN connection, and then we have a dual port Intel Pro 1000. I think it's a PT PCI Express dual port gigabit, you know, thing, which is where our Draytech is connected on this red wire and the second port which is going to be used for a wireless internet access that we're getting shortly which will improve our speeds from 5 megs down to 24 which isn't a huge upgrade <laughs> compared to people in America but this is the UK so yes here in this cable mess where we have things like power cables for really old routers that we don't have anymore which we have two of them <laughs> Yeah, we used to have a thing for Netgear routers and we just kept adding power bricks. Anyway, we've got a green cable here that comes out of that Realtek connector and plugs into our top network switch here. This is a HP 2520G-8, I think that model is. I'm just trying to read it myself. My eyesight's terrible. It's a 2520G-8-POE. It's an 8 port PoE switch with 2 gigabit uplinks, so very nice switch actually. Um, it's kind of being used not for its intended purpose right now, because we've got like this blue cable is our servers. Um, this actually is some of these are labelled. That's our CCTV. Um, we've got EPO1. That's actually designed. It's actually meant to be plugged into this. Um, got this blue cable down to the other network switch, yeah. So in here we have servers, CCTV, uplink to the blue switch below, and our first access point, and obviously uplink to the internet. This is not supposed to be our main network switch, it just... Um, yeah, you might want to go back, well not back, it'll be forward, because I'm doing these videos in a weird order. I want to go and see one of my more recent videos where I changed the fan in a network switch that ended up killing it. Um, I had a brand new 24 port network switch for a day before I killed it. But it's okay because I got this Nick <laughs> unmanaged 24 port switch which is heavily underutilized. We've got um, Temp Mac Pro that says. Can't read that. Go okay, Temp Mac Pro which ended up being a more permanent solution than it should have been we've got Kyle, this, that's my brother's computer and we've got ground switch that goes down to a switch on the ground floor so yeah this is our main network hub um, future possibilities future possibilities? known future possibilities I, I can't English today basically I want to get a 4 or 5U like, rack that you put gear in, it's made of MDF, they're very really cheap, don't need a metal one, just because there's not enough equipment and not enough room for a metal rack, I mean, I mean, there's a metal cabinet here, which I could probably change for a server rack, but there's too much work, plus I just want two network switches, yeah, so I'm going to repurpose this and have it just as a PRE switch for VoIP phones, and I'm going to add two more access points, so at the moment it's only one. And then we're going to get a HP, either an 1810-24G or maybe a 2510-24G. Not sure yet to replace that. 
I'm aiming more towards the 2510 because I've got a 2520 kind of all matches up in terms of design and interface um, like I said I'm also going to get a um, one new case for that and man look at that that's a really cool effect so yes I've spent five minutes talking about two network switches and a router how can I do that anyway so here's our CCTV switch it's a Netgear FS108P um, it's also running a VoIP phone at the moment <laughs> But yeah, we've got DVR there, which goes off to our DVR, terribly long network cable. We've got this yellow cable, which I was using to test the network switch, which doesn't work. We've got the uplink there, the yellow one, which needs to be changed to a blue cable, and this blue one needs to be changed to a yellow one. Um, over here we have the four PRE ports. The first one is empty. I might as well plug in this patch cable. There we go. The second one goes to the VoIP phone on my desk and then the last one there is our only PRE IP camera which is connected in down here with a terrible little punch down and as you can see I do have plans to add two more cameras although these cables are now wrong because they're red instead of orange I might have to um, add an exception and this big grey loop of cable here which disappears down into the floor down there is the excess cable running to my server although the cable on the other side is broken so that's why it's not being installed properly because I'm probably going to rip it all out and put in something new anyway um, I'm thinking of maybe even doing a fibre link because fibre is future compatibility with 10 gig and it's a lot more cooler. As you can see there's the rest of the networks there which looks a lot messier from a distance than it does it close up. So yes, these are the, well there's actually four network switches up here. There's this one, there's them two over there and then there's also switch 02, which is where that yellow cable heads off to, which is a n network cable. Um, that's not the, there's an IP camera up there and there's a network switch behind the bed, um, which I'll go to actually. So yes, down here in this little alcove where everything sounds really professional and cool because it's basically echo free, we have this, I think it's a HP 1700-8. It's a 7 port 10100, 1 port gigabit switch. So, a grey cable on the very end is the gigabit uplink from the 2520. Uh, the grey one next to it. Um, no idea, it's not got an uplink on it, so I don't really care. The green one goes up to the IP camera in the window. There's a PRE injector here for it. I know it's a very tacky solution. Um, I will probably remove this switch and plug that IP camera directly into the 2528G once I get the time. That cable along from that is going to an Axis 241S video encoder, which is on the other side of the room. Um, that blue cable goes nowhere. <laughs> it's actually a tiny patch cable, I don't know why it's plugged in. And the yellow cable is going to the Netgear switch. So basically we're going from the 2528G to this 1700HG, not HG, 1700S8 to the Netgear FS108P. It's a very complicated setup and I've done it in the wrong order, I've just realised. So. So we're now here at the server shelf where we have our main server here. This is way too bright, this light. There we go. We have our main server, which I'm going to have to... I'm going to have trouble getting that. There we go. Clyde. 10.0.6.9. This is our main server. It's a ProLine ML110G6. The Xeon X3440, I think. And at the moment, only 8 gigs of RAM. Soon to be upgraded. So next up, we then have the HP Micro Server N36L. Um, 
this is the domain controller file server and also at the moment the mail server although that's got to be moved on to here very shortly and then up here we have yet another blown out image it's a HP 1800-8G the smaller brother to this which I just went and killed um, so yeah in here we have blue one is the uplink I believe, yeah, no, the blue one is the micro server, the six there is the integrated lights out of Mr. MR110, um, number seven is the MR110's interface, and then the number eight is the um, uplink to the other switch, which is only 10100 because of the aforementioned broken cable and yes it does get very dusty in here this is actually a bedroom a very messy bedroom which is why I'm zoomed in all the way to the servers here but yeah yeah as you can see it's actually totally rank in here I need to I really need to pull out this micro server um yeah I mean, look at that. That is, that is icky. Icky, icky. It's one dirty server. What's more worrying is how dirty the ML110 is, and it's only been here, I want to say, a month. Ugh. I don't like mess.